Nicola, uh, I did a bit of student campaigning uh, when I was at uh, uni down in Manchester as well. Um, unlike Nicola, I didn't come away with a degree, so perhaps I should have done a lot less of it than I did. Uh, but one of the reasons why student life and student activism can be so creative, I think, is because it's a time in people's lives when they're starting to form and shape their own ideas, not just about their own future, but about the future of society as well. You've got the opportunity in a university campus to engage with people who've not made up their minds yet about this question of independence. The people who are most important in this debate over the next year and a half or so are the people who are not sure yet. The people who don't feel it innately, that they have to align to one side or other. The people in the middle of this debate who've not made up their minds yet, they're the most crucial people to reach. And so you've got the opportunity to engage with students who've not shaped their views yet, who've not fully formed their ideas about whether Scotland should be independent or stay within the UK. Actually start to engage them in questions about what they want their society to become in the future. I gather that the deputy leader of the Labour Party today is making a speech about why Scotland should take certain choices, make certain priorities. And he made the argument that redistribution is a fundamentally important thing in our society. I agree with that. But he said redistribution is the strongest argument for staying in the Union, staying part of the UK. What kind of redistribution have we seen over the last 20 or 30 years? Redistribution almost entirely from the poor to the rich. That's the kind of redistribution we can do without in Scotland. We need to take a fundamentally different direction. I don't honestly believe the UK is capable of the kind of change that I want to see in our society. This is a, a political culture that after a hundred years of trying can't even get rid of unelected peers from our government. The kind of reform, the kind of change, the kind of transformation that we need, crucially need, in a century that's been so riven by inequality and by environmental destruction, I think it can only be achieved by making a break with a political culture that the UK represents and going in our own direction. That's an argument that you've got the chance to make to students right across this campus over the next couple of days, over the next couple of years, and in the years to come after we vote yes to transform our society for the better. So, once more, how are you all voting? Yes! yes. Thank you very much. Woo.